What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Portigo and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the Quasar Science Q50R LED lighting kit, going over everything that comes with it from the tubes, the mounting plates, all of the cables, all the different mounting accessories, so you get a really good understanding of what you're getting with this kit and how and what all of these different pieces are. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the bulbs, specifically some of the features and stuff that come with these, more of the specs about the lights, I'm gonna be doing another video going over all of the things that you need to know that I'll throw a link to right up here if you wanna go check that out. So without further ado, let's jump into this kit and see what you get. Now before we go over everything that comes in this kit, I just wanna give a huge shout out to Quasar for putting this kit together because it comes with basically everything you need for any sort of shooting situation with these four lights. It comes with all the different mounting options, all the different cables and powering options, and it's just a really well thought out and well designed case as well. Okay, so starting on the lid of the case over on the left side here, we have this nice little plaque which gives us basically a layout of the entire case. And this is super handy if you're having somebody else go and get something out of the case like a PA or a grip, or when you're putting stuff away, you know exactly where things go at the end of a shoot so you never misplace any pieces. Right behind that, you have this nice little handy quick start guide for the Q Rainbow RGBX. In here, it goes through everything from all the controls and displays, how to set it all up. You go through all of your status lights, configuration menus, your DMX controls, your effects, basically everything that you need to know about these lights in this super handy little laminated quick start guide. Going over from that, you have the power cables for all of the individual lights. So if you're powering them each individually, this is what you're gonna use. And it has the Nutrik True One Connect, which is super nice. It has a seven foot cable and the ballast and everything is built right into the light. So this is all you need to power each of these tubes. And like I said, you have four of those, one for each of the lights. And then going all the way over onto the right side here, you have a nice little rundown of everything that comes in the kit. This is great because along with where everything goes in the kit, you can actually see all of the different pieces and parts that you're supposed to have to make sure the kit stays together. All right, so moving down into the actual case, you can see we have four bulbs lined up right here, which have some really nice separation foam in between so they don't get banged up. And each of these lights comes with its own control panel. So if I bring this up here, you can kind of see, so this is the small LCD display where you're actually gonna control everything on the light, all the different settings. And then all the way down at the other end is where the ballast and the power switch is for each of these lights. And again, I'll dive more into all this in that other video that I mentioned. So we have four of these lights, really well separated, nicely fit in there. Underneath each of them, over on the right side here, you have your individual plates. So these plates are built by MyWay and they work with Quasar. And these are just for the individual tubes. So you can actually take one of these, pop it right into this. And now you have a great mounting option for putting it onto a C-stand or something like that. And I'll show you how we use that in a second. And they just pop in and out, which is super handy, really quick and these are nicely made. Going on to the other side, you have the quad plate, which is a very similar thing. So this uses the same idea where you just kind of slip them in, but this has a setup for four different tubes. And this is really nice because then you can put it into an array similar to a Kino Flow if you wanna get that big soft source and you wanna have all the output coming from one area. So you can either break them out using these single plates or you can use this quad plate to have sort of more power in one area. And on the back, it even uses the same design that you use on like the Kino Flow Celebs for their sort of ball mounted arm to really have some control over it, which is really nice to see on this Quasar plate. And then going into the center here, you have one more little cutout for a longer power cable. And this power cable actually has its own on off switch, so you don't have to use it on the light, you can do it right through this. And it uses that same Nutrik True One connection to plug into the outside of the light. The great thing about this setup is it also works with the breakout cable, which is another thing that's included in the kit. So this uses the other end of that new trick locking system and it breaks out to four. So you're mainly gonna be using this if you have more than one bulb together and you want them going into the same power source, especially when you're using the four-way or the quad plate. Some of the other cables you get are these Cat5 or Ethernet cables. And what these allow you to do is do DMX out from one of the lights into another one and then set it up in a lead follow so you actually have one controlling the other light. So you only have to change the settings on one light instead of going through the same process on both of them. And that's super handy and you get four of these so you can tether them in between each other. Really helpful when you're using that four-way plate to have them all have the same settings. You also get one longer ethernet. I believe this is about a 10 foot cable. And this is just gonna be used for DMX control going out to a separate board. 
A couple more of the cables that you get in here, you have this USB to ethernet, and this is for updating firmware on the units themselves. So if new things come out where there's new effects, you can load them right onto the light using the ethernet into the USB into your computer. You also get one more thing for DMX control, and this is the ethernet or cat five into a five pin DMX controller or the RJ45 to a five pin DMX adapter. And you can use that longer ethernet to plug into one of these lights and then the five pin into a board where you're gonna have a little more customization. The last thing that comes in the kit is these small little baby pin to my way adapters. So what you actually do is unscrew this and then you can take one of these my way plates and you can see there's some registration pins on the other side. So we can put this together, thread this back on. And now you can see we have a MyWay plate to baby pin and then you can just pop your light in there and slap this on a C stand. And you got a super easy and lightweight mounting option for these Quasar tubes. And you can do the same thing with the quad mounting plate. So that's everything that comes with this four light kit. If you wanted to pick one of these up for yourself, it's gonna run you about 3,200 US dollars, which is pretty pricey, but you get a lot of bang for your buck with all these lights and a lot of flexibility that you get with these light bulbs. If you wanted to pick one up for rent, if you have a specific shoot, we also have them at Lens Pro to go and they run about $270 for a four day rental. And I'll throw a link to those in the description down below if you wanna check them out. Again, if you wanna learn a little bit more about the specs and features of the actual LED bulbs, I'm gonna throw a link to that video right up here where you can check that out and learn a little bit more about how you can actually use these lights on set. If you have any questions about the Quasar Science tubes, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this kind of unboxing kit overview video, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.